Hey guys, Steve here, and today's message is titled, Sometimes We Feel Alone. So, sometimes you just feel like the Lord is not with you, and it's a rough thing to, to think that, but I would have you to comfort yourself with the Word of God. It's, it's what I have to do too. Maybe you're going through a rough time and you just feel lonely and you feel all alone. Remember, Zephaniah 317, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Those three parts of that verse are great. Rejoice over thee with joy, rest in his love, and joy over thee with singing. And remember, it's not that we loved him. It's that he loves us. The most important thing, he loves us. When we learn to rest in that, that is what gives us confidence. That is what gives us hope for the future. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. That's 1 John 4.10, and that's from the NIV. When you feel alone, remember Jesus said, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. He told that to Thomas because Thomas wanted to touch the holes in his hands and the holes in his side, hole in his side. And uh, he told Thomas, blessed are they that have not seen. And that blessed, that is accepted. It is highly favored in the beloved. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us, he hath made you, he hath made me, accepted in the beloved highly favored. It is only used one other time in the New Testament other, test, <laughs> Testament other than Ephesians 1 6 and that is where the angel appeared to Mary and said hail thou art highly favored. We have the same favor. We have the same grace that the mother of our Lord has had. In addition God loves us as much as he loves Jesus. In Psalms 139, 16 through 17, it says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me? When you feel alone, how precious are his thoughts about you. And then he says, oh God, they cannot be numbered. Those precious thoughts about you cannot be numbered. Long before, that's Psalm 139, 16 and 17 in the New Living Translation. Here from the Message Bible, Ephesians 1, 3 through 6, long before he laid down earth's foundations, he had us in mind had settled on us as the focus of his love to be made whole and holy by his love. Long, long ago, he decided to adopt us into his family through Jesus Christ. What pleasure he took in planning this. He wanted us to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift giving by the hand of his beloved son. <clears throat> now, when... I feel alone, when I feel desperate, when I feel the pressures of this world, I have two go-to verses. One uh, is taped to the wall beside my bed where a charger light shines on it, and that is Isaiah 26, 3. Thou will keep him, thou will keep her in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. That will keep her in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. When you're having trouble going to sleep, meditate on those words. Just let them 
Pour over your soul like molasses. The Lord gives righteous, the Lord gives restful sleep to the righteous. Again, similarly, in John 14, 27, in the Holy of Holies, which is John 14 through John chapter 17, Jesus said, peace I leave with you, bequeath as an heir, his peace he gives to us. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And then here's the part which gives the comfort. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Write those two verses on post-it notes or on index cards and just meditate on them and let the soothing favor and grace of our Lord pour over you so that you will not feel alone and you will have restful sleep. You guys have a great day. Bye. This is Steve.